Hello Lawn Mowing people, what I'm going to talk about today is why is a logo for your lawn mowing business that important? Now, logos are actually an essential part of any brand identity. If you're thinking about getting a logo, you should ask yourself these questions. Do you want to grow a good sized lawn mowing business? Do you want better results for less money when you advertise? Do you want people on the street to remember your business so they can find you when they need you? These are all benefits that come with having a logo because people will see your logo around. As you're out and about in town, people will see your logo while they're passing. Now, it's all about defining your brand. Now, you may think that defining your brand is not an important part of having a lawn mowing business. I mean, brands are just for big businesses, aren't they? Well, no, they're not. Brands are for any business that wants to be recognized. And branding, branding might sound like a strange word to associate with lawn mowing, but all companies need branding. Branding has been around for hundreds of years, and the principle hasn't changed a lot. What happened was people used to take their cattle and they used to put brands on their cattle and they didn't want to stamp their name across the animal because that, well, for a lot of reasons actually, but it's, so what they did is they just came up with a simple design and they used that design and it was called a brand. And a brand now isn't much different from a brand then. A brand is a design that you use to represent your business and your brand should be on absolutely everything from your business cards, to your posts on social media, to your vehicle. What it's actually doing is it's improving recognition. So when people start seeing your logo all over town, they'll remember you, who you are when they need somebody to mow their lawns. They're, and this is when the magic starts happening. People, and when they're looking for lawn mowing, instead of typing in lawn mowing, they start typing in the name of your business and they start doing a search for it. This is not just theory this is what we've actually done with our business our business in a town of about 150,000 people our business was in the top five search terms for lawn mowing in our town and that's what you really want to do you want your brand to be associated with your business people are going to remember brands a lot easier than they're going to remember your name they have to see your business about seven times before they start remembering it and if you have a brand associated with it what you do is you give people a mental image that they can associate with your business and the funny thing about memory is people are usually pretty bad at remembering names but they're quite good at remembering images and this is why if you ever go to do any training or anything like that in memory what they'll do is they'll say that you should associate names with pictures and that's the way that you can recall people's names and uh, and things that you're learning it's like rope learning with pictures and logos are just that so now that I've talked about why you should have a logo and what's important about having a logo we'll talk about where do you find a logo now I drew my logo but I'd only recommend that if you have skills in that department there are places where you can go to get logos done for you and there's places you can go to do logos pretty simply. Now the first place you could try out is a place called Canva. And Canva is a really good place to work on a logo because you can sign up for a free account, you can play around with it, you can design yourself a logo and then you can download it. And so Canva is absolutely brilliant for that and it's a great piece of free software. And if you are going to pay for it, it's not expensive, it's about 20 bucks a month. And you can use it to do all your social media posts and everything like that. So it is actually a really handy piece of kit. And then you've got uh, places like Fiverr. Now Fiverr I've always found is a little bit hit and miss. Sometimes with Fiverr you'll get somebody that's really good. Sometimes you'll get something that's truly awful. I think what you need to do is you need to pay attention to the reviews that the person has got and go with somebody who's got good reviews because another thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to go to Fiverr and have somebody give you exactly the same brand they've designed for somebody else just with your name on it. You want it to be original. And so if you're going to pay money, good money for your logo and you're going to get it done on Fiverr, make sure that you're getting the real McCoy. 
Now, if you're not opposed to spending a bit of money on your logo, you could try a place called 99designs. Now, what 99designs do is they do commission work where they'll design you a logo on commission, or you could even run a competition and people submit logos and you pick the winner and then you pay the prize. And so it's a really, really good way of getting your logo designed and you can actually get some really, really good quality logos through that site. Now, another thing that you could do is you could try searching for lawn care clip art. Just do a Google search, type in lawn care clip art and see what comes up. You'll be surprised. And also, when you, when you do that search, go to images. Don't, don't do the... Don't do the, so you'll do the word search and then the second tab on Google will say images. Bring that up and then start having a look through there. Now I will warn you that it is a little bit of a rabbit hole and you could end up just going for hours and hours just looking at all these different things. And some of them are not so great. So just do be careful if you go there. Choose something that you like or uh, find a piece of clip art that you like and make sure that when you buy it that you're actually allowed to use it for a logo because some of them actually have terms and conditions where they won't allow you to use it for a logo and sometimes you can buy sole rights but that can be horrifically expensive but if you don't mind somebody in another town miles away using the same image as you then you can just go ahead and and grab one of the one of the cheaper images and just use a piece of clip art. I prefer something original myself, but then that's really up to you. As long as people have an image that they can associate with your business. Now, there's a few things to consider when you're doing design work. You've got to consider things like the colors and the fonts. Uh, the colors need to be colors that work with your business and the fonts need to be easy to read. Don't try doing anything like an old English font or something like that with the big long curly bits because that's going to be really, really difficult to read from a distance. You want something that's easy to read and punchy. Now, also look how, how your logo is going to look across different mediums because it's going to be in print, it's going to be on um, on the internet it's going to be on your advertising it's going to be everywhere so just make sure that it looks all right on all these different places now another thing is is that when you get your image designed you get i would suggest that you get two lot two different kinds of images done get the same image done but two different ways you want for the side of your vehicle and like doors and things like that you can have an image that's a portrait which is what most of them are so but then you can have uh, a landscape image and a lands landscape logo is really really good for something like the front of your vehicle because it makes it uh, it fits in that space it's on the front of a van or the front of a truck and it looks good so try and get the two designed if you can and another thing that you should do is when you come up with your logo pop your logo up on a desk and walk away and see how it looks from a distance and see if it's hard to read because if it's hard to read from a distance it's going to be hard to read on your vehicle you want a logo that's easy to see and that people can just look at and they know instantly what you do now as far as taglines goes I've talked about taglines in other places and basically taglines are just things that give people a little bit more information about your business they can be um, an information that talks about your quality of work. They can be information that talks about a keyword like lawn mowing or if you haven't got the word lawn in the name of your business you can use it in your tagline. And you could also use other services that you offer um, and make them aware in your tagline like um, you know gardening and landscaping or something like that. So I definitely think it's a good idea to invest in logo design because logo design is going to make your business memorable and having a memorable business is going to bring you in more customers and it's going to bring them in cheaper and it's going to cost you less to advertise if you're using a decent logo. And that's all I've got to say about logos so get out there, mow lawns, have fun and happy lawn mowing people.